Hey there kit fans, it's Louise with you today and it's take two on the November kit. So this is my second share for the month and I knew that I wanted to get um, out of my comfort zone a little bit and create in a um, multi-photo layout. It's not something I do often and I haven't scrapped in 12 by 12 for a little while. I've been focusing a lot on the, the 9 by 12 so I wanted to get my multi-photo and 9 by 12 on today. First thing I'm going to do is focus on layering some torn paper. Um, I don't know why, but because the patterns in this Vicky Booten collection are quite um, uh, busy, I felt like I wanted to just separate them a little bit. So I'm going to do that with some torn paper. And this is um, scary sometimes because I worry that if I tear up a sheet of paper, is it going to be usable? Is it going to be something that I like? Is it just going to be rubbish that I end up throwing in the bin later? But I managed to um, salvage this as it goes along. Um, so firstly, using the A and B sides of a torn um, sheet. I have this... Um, idea to have the, the two sections so the one at the top and then the one down low where my photos are um, and then sort of keep it quite simple in the background I don't want to add too much because I really want those torn um, strips of paper to to be the the focus of this page so um, I needed something a little bit behind my um, photos there so they were getting a bit lost in that white background so I'm adding a little bit more color and that's heaps better I can really see those photos pop out a little bit and it looks a bit more um, like that's supposed to be there so adding that little bit of blue so a little bit of blue a little bit of um, the um, green poking out and then we've got a little bit of the pattern as well which ties it all together so now's the time where we um, need to look at embellishing so it's about putting some flowers and a few little bits and pieces so we've got a tag we've got a title um, I've popped my journaling in behind there it was keeping it nice and simple and once I'm happy with how that's working I decide I'm going to add just a little pop of color it didn't need much I you know again with the Lumiere paints because I'm loving them this month and they have that gorgeous bit of shimmer so all I'm going to do is add a little bit around those um, torn layers and I think it adds just the right amount so super easy um, layout to put together this one it just was um, you know getting those elements in the right position and and all the little extra bits and pieces so splatters of course because it wouldn't be a finished layout if it didn't have some splatters as well now because I've still got um, the Lumiere paint sitting there, I decide that I'm going to enhance that colour and you can see as it dries that there is that little bit of extra um, shimmer by adding a more, um, more of the acrylic paint adds more shimmer because it's more pigmented. So it you can see, and I do cover some of it up, but I love how this one came together. So a couple of little stickers from the sticker sheet and a few little words to finish. 